Maccabim Shani, which is 2 Maccabees chapter 11. Not long after the victory over Timotheus, Lysias, the king's protector and cousin, who also managed the affairs, took sore displeasure of the things that were done. And when he had gathered about fourscore thousand with all the horsemen, he came against the Yahudim, thinking to make the city a habitation of the other nations, and to make a gain of the temple as of the other chapels of the heathen, and to set the high priesthood for sale every year, not at all considering the power of Elohim, but puffed up with his ten thousands of footmen, and his thousands of horsemen, and his fourscore elephants. So he came to Yehuda, and drew near to Beit Surah, which was a strong town, but distant from Jerusalem, about five stadion, and he laid sore siege unto it. Now when they that were with Yehuda Maccabee heard that he besieged the holds, they and all the people with lamentation and tears besought Yahuwah that he would send a good angel to deliver Yasharel. Then Yehuda Maccabee himself first of all took weapons, exhorting the others that they would jeopardize themselves together with him to help their brethren. So they went forth together with a willing mind. And as they were at Jerusalem, there appeared before them on horseback one in white clothing, shaking his armor of gold. Then they praised the merciful Elohim all together, and took heart, so much so that they were ready not only to fight with men, but with most cruel beasts, and to pierce through walls of iron. Thus they marched forward in their armor, having a helper from heaven, for Yahuwah was merciful unto them. And giving a charge upon their enemies like lions, they slew 11,000 footmen and 1,600 horsemen, and put all the other to flight. Many of them, also being wounded, escaped naked, and Lysias himself fled away shamefully, and so escaped. Who, as he was a man of understanding, casting with himself what loss he had had, and considering that the Ivarim could not be overcome, because El Shaddai helped them, he sent unto them, and persuaded them to agree to all reasonable conditions, and promised that he would persuade the king that he needs be a friend unto them. Then Yehuda Maccabee consented to all that Lysias desired, being careful of the common good. And whatsoever Yehuda Maccabee wrote unto Lysias concerning the Yahudim, the king granted it. For there were Sepharim written unto the Yahudim from Lysias to this effect. Lysias unto the people of the Yahudim send greetings. Yehuchanan and Avshalom, who were sent from you, delivered me the petition subscribed, and made requests for the performance of the contents thereof. Therefore, what things soever that were to be reported to the king, I have declared them, and he has granted as much as might be. If then you will keep yourselves loyal to the state. Hereafter also will I endeavor to be a means of your good. But of the particulars I have given orders both to these and the others that came from me to commune with you. Fare ye well, the hundred and eight and fortieth year, the four and twentieth day of the month, Dias Corinthius. Now the king's sephir contained these words. King Antiochus, unto his brother Lysias, send greetings. Since our father is translated unto the Elohim, our will is that they that are in our realm live quietly, that everyone may attend upon his own affairs. We understand also that the Yahudim would not consent to our father for to be brought unto the custom of the other nations, but had rather keep their own manner of living, for the which cause they require of us that we should suffer them to live after their own Torah. Wherefore, our mind is that this nation shall be in rest, and we have determined to restore them their temple, that they may live according to the customs of their forefathers. You shall do well, therefore, to send unto them and grant them peace, that when they are certified of our mind, they may be of good comfort and ever go cheerfully about their own affairs. And the sephir of the king unto the nation of the Yahudim was after this manner. King Antiochus sends greetings unto the council and the rest of the Yahudim. If ye fare well, we have our desire. We are also in good health. 
Menelaus declared unto us that your desire was to return home and to follow your own business. Wherefore they that will depart shall have safe conduct till the thirtieth day of Zanthikos with security. And the Yahudim shall use their own kind of meats and Torah as before, and none of their manner of ways shall be molested for things ignorantly done. I have sent also Menelaus that he may comfort you. Fare ye well in the hundred forty and eighth year and the fifteenth day of the month Xanthikos. The Romaim also sent unto them a sephir containing these words, Quintus Memmius and Titus Manlius, ambassadors of the Romaim, sent greeting unto the people of the Yahudim. Whatsoever Lysias, the king's cousin, has granted, therewith were also well pleased with. But touching such things as he judged to be referred to the king, after ye have advised thereof, send one forthwith, that we may declare as it is convenient for you. For we are now going to Antioch. Therefore, send some with speed, that we may know what is your mind. Farewell, this hundred and eighth and fortieth year and fifteenth day of the month Xanthikos.